Billy, nice to see you, mate. How you keep him? Yeah, I'm all good, thanks. Have you? Yeah, not too bad, thank you. Obviously, difficult times right now for everybody concerned, but how does what does lockdown feel like for you? What are you up to? How are you managing to train right now? Yeah, lockdown, it's a bit annoying, but nothing you can do. I'm back home with the family in Scotland, so that's a positive. Uh, get to see them, spend time, and just doing fitness, really, during the day. Just keep myself ticking over by going some runs or doing something in the house by gym. Ah, good man. Well, listen, let's talk, because obviously everything's been put on hold, and especially watching, you know, the impact that you made, Billy, when you come into the team at Liverpool in the FA Cup, and I did the live game with Roy Keane when you were man in the match as well against Everton. You must have been so proud of your performances then. Yeah, it was, it was a great, great game, so it was happy to play well. Um, and then when receiving the man in the match, it was amazing. I never really thought of it, just wanted to play the game well, didn't want to mock up anything, just making everything right. Uh, but the full, the full game was brilliant. I enjoyed it, getting first team experience, and especially against Liverpool, who are the best team in the world right now. I think what everybody said, obviously Roy and, and myself, midfield players, and it, and it felt, and the words we used to a certain extent, were you, it feels like watching you, you're a bit of a throwback. You play little ones around the corner, you've got great vision, always looking to play forward. You know, when you're a kid, what players did you look up to? We're well, still a kid, in fairness, but what yeah, players exactly. did you look up to? <laughs> um, when I was a kid, like young, very young, I used to watch Ronaldo and Messi, everyone done. But when I started to analyse my game and see who I would, Progress to be like, hope to be like. It was more like Iniesta, Xavi, Yafabi, Gassis, all them, them kind of players. And it was just something I loved watching how they passed the ball, receiving the ball, everything was sharp. Like Busquets as well. If you don't watch, when you watch Barcelona, you watch Busquets individually, everything happens around him. But when you watch Barcelona, you don't really see Busquets. But that's the kind of players I always looked up to and just wanted to do be that kind of player, getting on the ball, passing it, making things happen. I mean, you played your debut against, uh, your full debut against Liverpool and you look so at ease. Did it surprise you how comfortable you felt or did, you, did it feel like you're under duress at times or did you just find it, this is so natural, this is exactly where I want to be? When leading up to the games, um, I always like, think about it, what I'm going to do and try it in training. And when... The gaffer spoke to me about it, says, go out and play your own game. Just go out and enjoy it and play your own game. And that was, it gives you a lot of confidence when you go out. You just want to play and do the thing you love. Uh, playing the game, at parts, I did find it difficult. But when I was on the ball, I felt good. I had players running off to play the passes. So it was making it easier for me. But I loved the full game. It was a great experience and hoping for many more. And that nutmeg surely got got everybody's attention. Next, when you go to <laughs> when you go to Anfield, they'll be looking for a little bit of revenge for that, I reckon. Yeah, I think they will be. I might not be on the pitch very long if he comes up to me. <laughs> <laughs> but it showed the confidence and a little smile after, and a few of the players giving you high fives, and it just went. You know, you just look perfect there, and it just he looks so natural. And then the Everton game, obviously, the one that I was talking about with Roy Keane, and and that was exactly the same. You just look so comfortable on the ball. If you is that your favourite position? Is that where you want to play, just in front of the back four, where you can control the game? Is that where you feel most comfortable? I would say I'm more versatile. When I first came, I was more of an attacking midfielder, and then Jody Morris turned, uh, made me the deeper. So he did. Uh, but I don't mind playing anywhere in the midfield. But to get on the ball and start playing is probably best for me. And I noticed you've got a lot of your shirts in the background there, Billy. What have you got? I can see a few Scotland shirts. There's no chance. It's not too late to get you to play for England, is it? I know you've not made your full debut yet, but <laughs> maybe we can do something there. No English in you? No, never. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> no chance. What have you got, Billy? Show us some of those shirts. Give us a little pointer to what you've got there. So, this one is my Rangers strip when I was in the squad for my first time. Right. Uh, that, that was a great experience. And then the top one was the Victory Shield. Yep. So it was. Uh, so that was my Victory Shield team. And then the one just... Under 15s? Up, yeah, under 15s. Yep. It and then this one there, that's my debut shot against Sheffield United when I came on. So I got that. So two strips up my wall. And what about any, any ones from Chelsea? I can't see the Chelsea ones you've got there, Billy. I've got Chelsea ones here. As you can see it. So that was Youth Cup. And then yep. we won the quadruple that year. That was Jody Morris was the coach. Uh, so right. that was a top year. That was my first season. 
so was it Chelsea and we won everything and it was a great season. I loved every bit of it. Yeah, did you swap? So the Liverpool game and the Everton game, did you swap any one of you kept those shirts? Um, the Liverpool game, I swapped with Andy Robertson. He right, came okay, up to yeah. Me. <laughs> he came up to me after the game and he was just saying, um, well done, you played really well. Uh, keep doing it and hopefully see you soon in the first team squad. Uh, so that was, that was great to hear that from the captain of the, the country. And then I asked him, is it okay if I can swap shops with you? And he says, no problem, we'll do it inside. So that was me buzzing. <laughs> Brilliant. And that is obviously, you know, you can't wait for that as well. That's going to be something, not just the Premier League, but also the Scotland debut. I bet that's something you're very much looking forward to as well. Yeah, everyone knows my feelings and about playing for my country. I've represented my country every age so far and playing with the 21 so now. So hopefully I'm not far off it. I just need to keep working hard and see what it takes. Perfect. Well, there's one for you then. I've, a little, I've just done a little bit of digging here and a little birdie tells me True or false that you were a child model for Burberry? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to uh, me about this, Billy. Come on, I want to hear this one. Oh, uh, um, I got a phone call from my agent, and he was just saying, you know, we got a phone call for Burberry. They, they're asking if you'd like to do modelling. So my dad phoned me and says, oh, what would you think about doing modelling? So I'm giving it a bit, saying, oh, yeah, of course, like bantering with them. <laughs> And then I got a phone call from my agent saying, oh, we'll, we'll be meeting up tomorrow uh, with Burberry. And I says, why is that? And I said, oh, you're modelling for them. Do your dad not say? And I says, oh, I thought he was kidding on. But then ended <laughs> up doing a couple of modelling shoots for Burberry. It was good, something different, but it was funny. I got a bit of stick. <laughs> I'd have to, we're going to have to dig those photos. Oh, do you know what? It's, did they make the campaigns on the billboards and stuff? Yeah, it's funny. I was going, I was going home one of the times in Heathrow Airport or Gatwick in Burberry shops there. So I, I was walking to my my flight and it comes up in the billboard me. I just take a picture and send it to my dad. Started laughing, but it was it. brilliant. I can actually, I promise you, no, I can remember that one. Yeah, I can remember that. I mean, I did some mingers, trust me. Oh, <laughs> some of my, so Burberry, that's a pretty good one. So well done, Billy. I like that one. I'm glad that one's a true one as well. Billy, thank you so much for joining us. It was absolutely brilliant and can't wait to see you playing again in the Premier League and moving that ball like you were just before it finished. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well done, mate. Keep it going. See you soon. Cheers. Take care.